Hello and welcome back to Antistasi Livonia, where I've bought something a little bit different today. We have the civilian helicopter, which cost us 4,500 of our hard-earned monies. I filled it with AT guys. They're all just in the back here. Hang on, I think I can drop the ramp, actually. Let me... let's see, where is it? Open rear door, there we go. Let me show you what we have in here. We just got all of the lads. Every single one of the lads are in here because we're going to do something a bit different today to take a break from the APC outpost capturing nonsense. Now, somebody recommended to me that I should do one of the convoy missions, that I should hit a convoy, which is something that I have tried to do in previous versions of this mission, but it's been so broken that it's not actually worked. So, I'm going to give it a go in this, in the Antistasi mod rather than the Antistasi mission, and see if it's any different. Let me just close this back up here before, um, before something bad happens. One of these guys falls out when we take off, maybe? There we go. So we're going to do a little bit of an unconventional convoy takedown, in that I'm going to fly this thing in. We're going to look for somewhere open for me to set down, and I'm going to park in front of them to create an obstruction to make them stop. Then we're just going to get a full helicopter's worth of AT guys to pour out of the thing. And then I'm going to get out, which will make us all avert. Everybody will fire launches into the convoy. It will be magnificent. So let's get a mission. We'll take a convoy ambush, which is a money convoy. Okay. Outpost near Nabdor to the factory near Nabdor. So it's either going to be that one up there or the airbase, or it's literally just going to be this resource dump that's going to drive down here. So that departs at 13.43. So we have a little bit of time to get close, and then we'll wait for it to trigger, and then hopefully we'll be able to see where it is. I guess that gives me time to show you that I switched from the M16 with the M203 to the M27, because if you look at the top right, as I change fire mode, I have fully automatic. So if we're going to be taking something down like that, it's going to be close quarters, nice and dirty. I think full auto is going to be pretty fun. Alright then, I reckon probably our best spot to take this down if it is going to be out in the open is going to be here. It's kind of close to the airbase. I don't know what the radius on going near the airbase is, is in this mission. Yeah, I think it must be this outpost. I think it's going to spawn like around here. And then it's probably going to go through Nabdor. Down this way. Like that which means that it might actually make contact with Nabdor. Or Nadbor. Sorry, I can't read today. I've been playing a bit of Counter-Strike today. I think the stupid has rubbed off on me. Anyway, let's get this thing off the ground. We'll uh, go earplugs in just because this thing's quite loud. And then we'll head out towards our objective. This thing does take quite a while to spin up. And we are using the Civ one just because the other helicopters we have, they're not Civ, you can't go into cover with them, so we gotta go. We gotta go in this Civ one. I did fly this down to the fuel station just to get a feel for how it controls again, since I haven't flown these things in a while. And it's basically just like a great big heavy brick in the sky. It's um absolutely disgusting. I don't like it, but you know what, it flies, and that's the main thing. I did have an idea for these as well, where I was gonna hover around and use them to scour the roads to see if I could find, um, find roadblocks and stuff for us to target. Okay, we're approaching these outposts. Let's make sure that we don't go into them. But yeah, if I could target outposts using this thing, not outposts, sorry, roadblocks using this thing, then that would be quite effective, I think. We could spot them from the air and then perhaps, like, call in artillery supports. So that's where it's going to, down there. Let's maybe not get any closer. Oh. Hang on, they're saying change course or they'll take defensive action. We've seen an inf infantry fighting vehicle, apparently. It's probably outside that airbase. Yeah, they have anti-aircraft launchers on that one. Okay. I'm going to set down right here, I think. Right down here. And then we'll wait for that convoy to uh, get on its way. And then we'll look for somewhere to ambush it. Let's see, can I actually land this thing without using auto hover? 
They're coming in nice, actually. They're coming in nice and smooth. There's a bit of a hill. Let's maybe not kill our tail rotor. Oh, not worth getting. Alright. Let's maybe find somewhere a bit flatter to park, shall we? That might do over there next to that deer stand. Or, I don't know, maybe the, the road? The flat road that you can drive on? Nah, this'll do. This'll do just fine, I think. You see there's this little flat bit just up here that we can edge into. And we're down. Perfect. Okay, well I guess we've got some time to chill until this convoy is ready to go. I think the only awkward thing about this is going to be that if they do make contact here, if there is a contact report, then I'm going to need to fly straight past this airbase and try and land like maybe behind Nadbor up here and then we'll have to move in on foot. I can't keep this helicopter, mind you. Um, I've got nowhere to garage it because I don't own an airbase, so it's literally just 4,500 that I've thrown down the can just for the sake of taking out a convoy in a fancy way. Okay, it's 1343, which means that it should have started moving. So I'm gonna put my marker on the outburst it's supposed to come out of. We'll head that direction and see if we can spot it and then we'll kind of follow it out until we get to the area that I picked out to ambush it. Hopefully, without getting shot down by that airburst. Because that would not be very nice. Alright, let's hang to the left a bit, just to try and avoid their anti-aircraft fire. Alright then, oh I think I see it, I think it's probably that, that red van out the front there. Yeah, that's the convoy. Okay. I don't think there's anything too scary there. You know, I'm just gonna stick auto hover on here just so I can look around without having to worry about which direction I'm going in. It's not going anywhere yet, is the thing. It's just kind of sitting there. Oh, we have movement. We do have movement. Okay. So there they are. And off they go. So it's being headed up by what looks like a police off-road followed by just something with a machine gun on it. And the back vehicle, I think, is a hunter. Which I think is the only thing there that we really need to bring launches to combat. So I just want to see if they make contact report, and then we're going to head back down there. You know what? Why don't I just fly into Nadbor? Because that'll force my garrison to spawn, and then they'll attack them. Then we're just going to heli drop in a load of reinforcements. Well, at least it actually tells you when you're getting too close to an outpost. Right, yeah, contact report now that we've loaded the garrison in, so we're just gonna fast drop down here. I say a fast drop, it takes a lot to stop this thing. It takes a lot to stop this thing. We ideally don't want that money transport to blow up, it seems to have gone stuck a bit. Right. Let's get ourselves down here. Let's not hit the power lines. We're getting a bit of lag as things load in. Alright, there we go. We're on the ground. Engine off. Everybody out. Let's go. If I have to, I can grab a car from here and just give chairs. There's a vehicle there. It looks like it's been destroyed, though. Yeah, that thing's done. Then again, it still looks like it kind of functions. Are you enemies? They must... Yeah, they are. Okay, they're just not really reacting to me, which is unfortunate. Okay, my guys have taken them out. I'm still getting shot at by somebody. I need to take my airplugs out, actually. I actually, I just want to see if I can garage this thing, actually. Because it's not blown up. Oh, we need to be in a garrison to do it. Okay, well, let's fix it up and let's take this. We'll take this and we'll use this to chase down that convoy lead. Well, the convoy lead's gone a ways out. 
I think what we need to do is fast travel down to the watch post down here. Just, let's just let people get in first. Alright, now I'm going to see if I can head this convoy lead off. I don't know which direction it's going to go in. So I'm going to take the main road in hopes that it follows the main road. And then we'll see... Apparently there's a... Co oh, it's me. <laughs> I saw on the map there it said convoy escort and I thought, wait, what? But no, that's me. I am the convoy escort. Okay. It looks like it didn't take the main road. So we're going to be chasing this thing down. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Okay, I've got to ram this thing. Ram that. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that... Yeah, okay, so he's killed that guy. So that thing has the money in it. Let's just make sure that all of these things are taken out properly. Let me get him alongside here. Yeah, there we go. So we could drive by through there. Through the window. Okay, I think I think he's dead, pal. There's this guy right in front of you. Look, right there. Target that. Or maybe I'll just do it, I guess. Okay, there's no way he's still alive. Alright then. That's that. Convoy has been tackled. Quite handily, actually. So I'm just going to hook this thing up to some tow ropes, and then we'll get this money back to base. So we traded a helicopter for this thing, which is quite a nice vehicle, actually. I do quite like this. And then there's this money here, which I don't know what it'll have inside it, but let's repair it. Deploy tow ropes. Attach to that. And you know what? I'm going to fix this thing up. And anybody who can't get in my car, I'm going to make get in this. So they can drive this back to base with us. Oh, they don't have any fuel. Damn, okay. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, it's full of stuff. They just don't have fuel. And this guy's dead? How did he die? I honestly don't know. I'll tell you what I think I can do, though. If I fast travel back to base after I get back to base with the money, then I think they just teleport next to me. So I should be able to then dismount them and garage it. Because I think it moves your entire squad when you fast travel, doesn't it? Okay, I have made it back to base with the convoy objective in tow. So we got 7,500 for that, so we actually profited. So that's pretty good. Let me put these tow ups away, and then I'll garage this thing. There we go. And then, hang on, if I get back in, and then let's try the fast travel thing. Let's see if I can fast travel my people over here. Did that work? Yes, it did. So let's have a look what the damage was in our town. We lost a few people. We lost five people. So let's go two, three, four. Nope, wrong buttons. Two, three, four, five, and six. We will garrison you in the town. We'll fill that garrison back up to full. There we go. So I still have four guys. Is there anywhere I can put them? No, all my other garrisons are full. So the only thing I'm going to be able to do is to put them in base. I could dismiss them, but I don't think I really get much back for that. I don't think I get the money back. I just get the HR back, which doesn't really help me all that much. But hey, we can do a bit more AI training now that we have almost 15,000 in our faction money. So let me train my troops. Then I'll level eight. Perfect. And I guess since that didn't take me very long, I want to try and have a look at, uh, let's see, construction kit. The construction kits. So let me put that down there, because there is actually like a um, base building section to this, which I haven't explored yet, because I wondered if this would, um, you know, all these buildings would just disappear when I reload the game, but if I zoom out, look, you can see all the space that I have. There is quite a lot of room. I'd like to try this here a little bit before we move our base to somewhere more permanent. So we have bunkers, sheds, sandbag walls, tires, pillboxes and stuff. So let's try putting one of these in. So if I have snapped the surface on, and let's rotate this that way. So we can put this here, and then space. And then we'll put one there. And then what about some of these slum walls? If we can rotate these in, and we can just make like a like a little channel down here. So if we put one, two, three, 
for five in. And then I'll do the same on this side. Okay, there we go. So then that means I can put like a little wall around the back here and make this a bit more defensible. Okay, there we go. So this front section here would be like where we deploy our vehicles, where we like drive them up and stuff. Like a bit of a garage almost. Oh god. Um, this isn't quite what I envisioned. So I guess I have to manually... Yeah. Um. Right. Give me a minute, because I wanted to move some of this stuff around. I've kind of built something. I'm not quite done, though. But when I'm done, I will show you what I've come up with. Oh god, some of this bigger stuff takes quite a while. I think these big bunkers. Yeah, I'm not going to make you sit through and watch all of this. I'm just going to kind of skip to when I'm done. You're welcome. Okay, persistent save. I'm done. This is our new base. What was just a collection of small ruined walls can now hopefully help us defend ourselves. So I rebound my Zeus key. There we go, just so we can get a bit of a, a better look at this stuff. So, this is the entrance from down here. So you basically have to drive straight up this middle here, but we have two anti-tank statics there. Not only that, but in the top of each of these towers, there is a machine gun as well. And of course, we can get to the bottom of here to defend these things. I've just noticed that wall doesn't really help us there, but there was no option to, like, flip the opening. So I, I guess that's just how that is. So we have some sandbags here as well, just where we get our vehicles out so that we can defend this place here. But we've got a bit of a sandbag behind us, just so that if somebody lobs a grenade over our heads, we have somewhere we can hide. This here is our little command structure. So that's our officer there. And then of course we can get in here to defend out over this side. You can mount your weapon to this as well and fire out. And then just a couple walls there to stop them from getting in through the cracks. I've added these little tire, I guess, nests in here to protect our anti-aircraft guns. Just to give them a little bit of cover if they come at us through the woods because I've set these out the back to make sure that the buildings here don't interfere with their elevation, like they can aim above still. This one might be a bit close, I could do with moving that out a little bit maybe, but I think it's fine. Uh, the two bunkers here, they both have statics in, those are some of the ones we've taken from the other outposts. And then some sandbags here which are set up so that you can't drive a vehicle through that. And then just all of our regular bits and bobs in here, we've got our clipboard, our tent, flag, arsenal box, garage there. We've got a little bit of cash left in that building supply thing there in case we need to replace some of these walls because I'm pretty sure you can just drive straight through these so I'm likely to destroy them myself. But that's our new base. So I'm going to do another persistent save just because I'm paranoid about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a few seconds to just process the save then I'm going to abort. Okay, I've just told anti Stasi to load my mission file up. What I'm worried about is... Oh no, it's all still here! Oh, perfect! I thought all of this might disappear. You know, when I load it back in. Because in the old anti-stasy, when you put down a building, it would all just vanish, wouldn't it? But now, I can actually build the base. And it'll stay here. Oh, that's perfect. Well then, I think... All of our statics are in the right locations. None of them have been displaced either. No, that's good. I'm very happy with that. So I think with that absolutely wonderful discovery, I'll leave off for today. Let's get back into Zeus mode so we can have a quick look around while I sign off. So of course, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the members and pledges for supporting everything I do. Do feel free to drop by the Discord server linked in the description if you'd like to come chat with myself or any other member of our wonderful community. You'll also find all the mods I've used today linked down there as well. So next time around we'll get back on that push over the last few outposts we need. We'll take those over because I have collected a couple of APCs but I'll talk about that next time and I'll see you then. Goodbye.